So uh, I'm just out for a, a walk with a friend and we found this which um, which usually I would have seen much more so far this year. I, I would expect to see it earlier um, and we haven't had many of them around here. Um, but even from the top I'm, I'm quite certain of what it is just because of the the zonate cap. So these rings, we call that a zonate cap. Um, and then I can see these bits of green bruising and you can see on the floor we're in uh, a whole area of Scots pine and there's no spruce around at all. Um, if we turn this over, so it's got orange underside and if I damage the gills you'll be able to see it's being a bit slow so we'll catch up with that bit in a sec. Actually you can see where I've where I've pulled it. It's got this orange, they call it milk or latex in the books. Um, it's actually neither, but it's a, a liquid that comes from the, the gills and the, the flesh of the mushroom. Um, and on this one you can see more, more green bruising. And these pits on the stipe, and this is a nice example, it's got these kind of, they're darker than the rest of the stipe, uh, more orange, and they're indented kind of markings and <laughs> indented circles. Hello sweetie. Um, and this is a really nice indication that it is Lactarius deliciosus, so named for being delicious, which is rather lovely. Um, always grows with pine, not with spruce. If it was with spruce and it didn't have these pitted markings on the stipe, then you'd be thinking probably Lactarius deterimus, which they call the false saffron milk cap. But this is a saffron milk cap. And it's one of my favourites, it's lovely. It makes your meal a little bit orange, but it's absolutely delicious. Uh, do press the subscribe button and the bell if you want to be notified of videos. I will make some more as I wander around and see what we find today. Um, but yeah, this is definitely worth picking and eating and relatively easy to identify with the orange milk and the, the markings on the stipe and the zonate top.